What's going on, y'all? This your boy X. Fire this up real quick. We're gonna get us a. This is the first time I'm driving my Volvo. I just got it. Just got it. I ain't do much customization on it. I added some lights at the top. So she looks good. We can turn the lights on. Can't see this in the daytime, but I forgot the name of this truck, like the full name, but I know it's a Volvo. So, yeah, I'm overseas. I'm about to go pick up a load of milk. So let's go ahead and try and get over there and get that before it expires. Give it a little gas, make sure everything's good to go. Throw it in second. And here we go. Picking up from Transnets, which ain't that far, so. Been sitting at the house for a while. the light. Come on, Pussy. Come on, I'm gonna swing. Yeah, I'm doing this just, cause, like I said, this is the first load I'm grabbing with. It's a heavy behind load of milk, so I'll talk about it as I'm driving, what I like, what I don't like, stuff like that. Just a little review of my truck. I like that she's got the pickup, but I can't say that for sure, because I don't know what it's going to be like when I got the trailer behind me. And at 33,000 pounds, I have a feeling she won't be picking up like this again, but... Alright, let me run up in here and talk to him so I can get this load. And we are good to go. There she is right in front of us. Yeah, like I said, it's just going to be a little short one. A little short trip. I ain't doing no long behind trip today. up into it. Gotta go gently though. I don't want to hit it too hard, damage my truck. Come on. No, not quite. Pull up a little bit. A little off. That tail, that bar in the front had me confused where it was, so I should be fine now though. Got it. Told you. Right, get outside. Raise the landing gear for my seat. Somewhere. I didn't get to catch where it was for y'all, but it was somewhere, so I right. just check the map real quick. And yeah, see, they always like taking me back roads and whatnot. I'm going straight down the highway, so that's a little extra time, but I'd rather you do that than having to cut up all them back roads and everything. Alright, let's roll! Break on, throw it in first. Gonna lift it on out. Yeah, she definitely, she ain't got that pickup no more. With all that weight sitting behind her. But she seems to be handling it well, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, I told you I'm going down the highway because I don't feel like handling all the like back road, off road, non highway type roads because they got too many hills, up and down turns, sharp, sudden intersections and stuff like that. I'm like, nah, let's just keep it simple for this one. A good debut run, let's keep it simple. Just head right down south towards the west. So, alright, this truck needs to come on though because I'm gonna have to get over. I know I am. He's 
really blocking me, so trail break on for a minute. This car needs to be why is everybody trying to block me today? Right, I'm taking the walk in. Sorry, Vin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to take it while I could. Like I said, it, it can be done very quickly. You wouldn't even know it, and you just mess around and flip it. So down to a nice reasonable speed. I probably should be going faster than that. Yep, feel that weight pulling me down. Yep. She got some weight behind it, but it's all good. I would say this Volvo handled it pretty nicely. I only had to downshift twice. And see, I think that's partially because I downshifted right going in, so. I can't remember fully. I think it's a 12 speed I got in it, but like I said, I bought it a while back. Haven't done nothing since. And I don't remember all the specifications and modifications I did on it, so. struggling a little bit, but it might just be because of all the weight. So damn, I'm just going to get a speedy ticket. She seems to be maintaining okay, no wibble wobble, nothing like that, so I'm not complaining. I would I'd up buy another truck like this. Let me go ahead. No car coming. Don't want to crash into it. Let me creep on over to the right now because we gotta get off up ahead. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take this right advisor off and use strictly the trucks. Start slowing down to all this weight. I think 48 miles per hour is a good cruising speed. 46 rather, I should say. I think that's a good cruising speed. Like I said, I don't, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be. I just know we're going to be there in time. So, I'm supposed to be there around Monday, late tonight. So, expected to get there right now in two hours. So, we'll be there in time.
Yeah, I'm still driving. I'm just watching the road, going, judging the truck. She seems to be doing really well, though. So, but then again, this is a thirty. Was it thirty-three? Yeah, thirty-three thousand. So maybe I'll do another video when I put a forty thousand on her. See how she handles then. Especially if I then I might even put on some back roads to really test her. Yeah, we ain't got too much longer to go. I'm going to go ahead and get on over. Yeah, I think when we get up here, I'm going to just... After I drop the trailer, that is. We get out, just look around, check her. Sit up in the bunk for a minute, see if they got anything good going back up to Dortmund where I live. And if not, the heck, I might just bobtail back up there. I haven't decided yet. But I don't have to. I'm not in no hurry to get back out running across the road and everything, trying to get some high money values, I should say. I can easily go back home and be content sitting there for a while. That's why I said I haven't even done this in a while, so. Got a little brake check up ahead, don't we? Let's see how much farther we got to go. I thought that would be why the brake check, too. Let me slip on over here. that much farther though. As you can see it's not that much farther so I need to step over one more time. Oh, ah, damn it. Oh, making me mess up my new truck. Oh well that's my fault for not paying attention better. I'm just glad I didn't hit that median. That would have been a ooh, not a good day. A little skip scrap I can take but I don't want to be heading to a median. Slip on back over here. Let me take this off. It's making me look too much stuff at once, confusing me. People over there resting. Yeah, like I said, not too much farther. I think, what was it? Another 39 minutes, so not too much longer at all. I know I'm speeding. I know I'm speeding. Not by much, but I know I'm speeding. Let me get on over before somebody else. See, look at him, look at him, look at that, look at him, look at him flying up behind me. I mean, granted, okay, don't get me wrong, I should use my signals. But either way, slip on back over here. I think I might go to the truck dealership that's in Liege. I've got which one it was, but I know there is one. Liege exit coming up. Uh, yes, sir. Alright, so apparently gonna be an easy drop off, too. Where is it again? Uh, Stokes. Man, 
Yeah, it looks like it's right off the highway as soon as you get off. Yep, look at that. I mean, you gotta go through the city a little bit, but ain't like you gotta go deep into the city. Like I said, I haven't set everything up like I want, so I have to check on that. Looks like breaking down now, though. At least make this turn. Was it Jake? It's just a very quiet Jake. I know what it is that I've been here before, and I remember the downside about it. Well, it shouldn't be today because I think it's still early, or midday actually, so there's no traffic. But I know sometimes that trying to make this turn, there's traffic coming out the behind, and it's hard to get across. So, go ahead and start the swing. That was easy today, though, thankfully. Yeah, I've been here lots of times. Many, many times I've been here. So this is not a new place for me. I'm going to go while this bus ain't speeding up. So. Look at that. An easy dock, too. There you go. That's nice. Nice easy back right there. Swing around like this. Cut it back like that. There we go. Like I said, an easy back. This way. A little more on that side. Turn a little this way. A more that way. Sorry, I'm a little anal about how I back. Let me pull forward a little bit. Just so they get right where they want me. And that would be that. I personally say I like this truck. It handled well. Didn't have no problems. I like the horns I put on it. Very loud. Didn't want more. So. Yeah, and I'm glad it's a two axles in the back. Not just that one like a lot of them have up here. I mean, of course, I did that extra modification. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop this. I might look for a lower line. I might just park. So, Alright, appreciate y'all for riding with me.